What's up my dear friends of the world, Joseph Ritchie here and today I'm going to show you how to develop a great sound on the tuba and if you stay all the way to the very end uh, I'm going to have a special bonus for you, one of my best exercises for uh, developing endurance. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. Okay, so number one, let's talk about how to get a great sound. Um, so when we're playing, our sound comes from vibration. The lips are buzzing, the air is the motivator of the buzz, and that's what fills up the instrument. So when you're buzzing, you need to make sure you have strong corners, and especially if you're buzzing with tuba and you're playing with tuba, you want those corners to be down as much as possible. So one of the exercises I do first is I take the mouthpiece and I just blow air through it. And after I start moving some air, uh, then I go and just buzz on a single pitch. And I make sure I put my hand in front of the mouthpiece, like right here, so that way I can feel that same air. Because uh, one of the habits we can get into if we're buzzing is actually not blowing through. So we want to make sure we're moving the air and not just letting the air get stuck right here. Um, one of my favorite exercises to do on the mouthpiece, though, is mouthpiece buzzing with uh, melodies. So instead of doing exercises on the mouthpiece, I'll actually do like simple melodies. Uh, and I usually do it like a my turn, your turn type thing. So if you want to, go ahead and grab your mouthpiece and let's do some together real fast. We'll start with um, Mary Had a Little Lamb. So my turn, your turn. <laughs> Great job. Let's do another one, another simple one. Let's do um, Happy Birthday. Awesome. Great job. Uh, do me a favor, and if you have a certain melody that you really enjoy doing, go ahead and comment that below. Uh, and also, while I got you here, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you enjoy this video, the likes really help me out. Make sure I know what content to provide you. So, start with our buzzing. And if you've been on my channel before, you know that uh, my videos are usually unedited and raw and sometimes not always the best equipment, but that's why you're here is great content, so that's what matters. Um, so, one of the first exercises I'll do for developing tone is a simple um, long tone exercise. Uh, start with just the tongue, and, uh, or sorry, with no tongue, start with just the air, and then I add in the tongue. So I'm gonna play a little bar of it for you. I'm gonna set my metronome to 72. Now I play on a C and an F tuba, but I know a lot of y'all on here play on a B flat. So I'm gonna start on a concert F. I'm gonna play half note, quarter, breathe, uh, dotted, half note. So ha, ta, and ta. for four beats after that in the next measure and then I go down a half step to E natural and again just starting with the air and then that tongue
And since uh, I'm playing C tuba, I usually start on G and go down chromatically until I get to the C there. But if you're playing on B flat tuba, you'll start on F and you'll work your way down to B flat. Um, and that's some of my first notes of the day. It really helps move in the air, get everything lined up. Um, and then from there, you can go up, you can start on F and go up. going from F you'll go up to B flat and G to C on C tuba and then from there I'll go down to the low fundamental so B flat and go down uh, I usually go down through all of the seven valve combinations but sometimes I'll go all the way to the pedal so again it's just so forth and you can use whatever um whatever sort of tongue articulation you would like to sometimes i'll use ta sometimes i'll use da even la there's a whole different variable i'm not going to tell you which one to use that's up to you and what sound you're after uh, and then another great tone exercise this one will fix your tone quicker than just about anything else is uh, lip bends and you just play a note for example i'm gonna play open g and I'm going to bend down to the F sharp without changing anything. So. And what this does when you're doing a lip bend is it opens up everything, make sure everything's nice and open. Make sure you're pushing your air as everything gets more open so that way you can try to keep a consistent tone as you're going through it. It's kind of difficult, um, but that's the goal of it. And what it does, it gets all those little micro tones in between and it really helps with, uh, if you're playing along with drones or playing with an ensemble, you being able to manipulate the pitch quickly and play in tune. So a quick exercise I like to do is I'll slur through the notes. So I'll play the, the top note slur down to the regular note, play back up, lip bend down to the next note, and then back up. So start it on F, so it'd be F, E natural, F, lip bend, F. going down and down and down and the further you go actually uh, the better it is for your embouchure so if you want to get down into the pedals it's a great way to get warmed up great way to get an awesome sound and you can even do it going up and what that does is it helps me personally relax my embouchure and make sure I'm playing with as much uh, an open throat and open um, jaw and that kind of stuff as possible that really helps me create the, the best sound I can so I hope these are helpful uh, and thank you for staying all the way to the end. Um, I have that bonus for you. Uh, so if you're like me, maybe you have a tendency to struggle with your endurance. Um, when I was preparing for recitals, it was always an issue. You go to play an hour long recital and not have the chops for it. So I'm gonna teach you this little quick uh, exercise that starts off quick, but it actually increases over time. Um, but it's something I like to do at the end of the day to really make sure my chops are in shape. Excuse me. And it's called minute long tones. So you start on the middle note. For example, if you're playing tuba, you'll start on G, uh, C tuba. If you're playing B flat tuba, you can start on F. And you just hold that note with a drone for a minute, a full minute. Um, and then you add a note going up or down each day. So the second day I'll play G and then A flat third day I'll play G A flat F sharp and the fourth day G A flat F sharp A natural and so on and so forth and it ends up being at the end of it if you're doing like two octaves it ends up being almost 24 minutes um, and you don't really have to go that far sometimes I just like to do it for fun but you want to make sure you work your way up one minute per day it's kind of like lifting weights you don't want to start and lift 50 pound dumbbells if you've never done bicep curls before so again start one minute a day and by the time you get to about day three or four 
your face is going to feel probably better than it ever has before. Um, as far as your endurance and everything's just working exactly how you want to in the most efficient way possible. Uh, and make sure though, after you've done it though, you get a nice warm down so then that way uh, you can refresh the muscles for the next day. And also, exciting news, if you have not checked it out yet, my method book's gonna come out soon. It's uh, gonna be released on April 1st and it's called Tuba Technique Builders. And throughout the book, I'm gonna show you some of the fastest ways that uh, you can improve your technique. Um, I've collected method books for years and years and years. I have some of the oldest and even some of the newest. And one of the largest issues I've found is there's only like little snippets of great exercises from each book. And then you put them all on your music stand and you have giant piles of books and it takes you forever to get through your warm up. So what I did was I compiled um, some of the best exercises and put them together. And these are just things that I use personally every day. Um, and it's the, one of the fastest ones that I've found. They get you a great sound quickly. And there's also um, a guide that you can use to follow along with it. So that way you can track your progress quickly and also make sure you're getting the most out of your time. You don't want to just be going through the routine every day. You want to make sure you're actually getting better. Um, so if you haven't checked that out yet, I have a link down in the comments. Also, if you, if you haven't gotten your uh, free uh, tuba sound guide, make sure you grab that as well. Some of the the best little secrets and nuggets of wisdom I've found out from studying with some of the, the best players in the world. So make sure you grab that. Um, also with the method book, Tuba Technique Builders, it's gonna be the world's first digital uh, interactive tuba method book. So I'll have all the exercises in there. I'll have descriptions of the exercises, but I'll also have clickable links that'll take you to videos to make sure that um, if you're interested in that, you'll get a, a little snippet of my playing, doing the exercises, and I'll also offer a little bit more discussion on it. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out now. I'm doing a, a pre-order sale on it, so make sure you go ahead and grab that if you're interested and lock it in. Um, special offer, a whole bunch of different bonuses included, so go ahead and check it out. Um, uh, so now you know how to develop a great sound. It starts with a vibration. You have those strong corners. Uh, do some buzzing. Uh, your long tones and your lip bends, and then for the extra challenge, do those minute long tones. So, Joseph Ritchie, signing off.